Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the SUMIF function with the TODAY function to give you a 30 day running total or a 365 or a 90 day running total. It's a great little function, a great little combination of functions. So what I've got on the screen is some dates and some amounts and then the last date it just happens for this example be to be today's date so I want to sum up the last 30 days based on that today's date so if I go back up to the top here and let's just do a running total first so just do a sum of the whole column so I'll just go sum and then just select this column that I want this is the whole column like so and then just tick that so you get the the overall total now to get the last 30 days looking back from today I need to use the sum if function so equals sum if open the bracket select the range that you want to look at the dates so I'm just going to select the date column and then a comma and now this is what you have to do open quotes do the greater than symbol close quotes so greater than now I need to concatenate the today function and I'm going to do that with the and sign then I'm typing today open and close bracket minus 30 comma so if that's true basically add up this amount like so these two have to be the same size close the bracket click the tick check the formula so I've got five nine three seven the last 30 days I've got these numbers here so I can basically just select from there back up to 30 so you can see what the actual sum is see if it's doing it correctly or not so there's 30 and if I go down here five nine three seven five nine three seven so it is actually working now I can use named ranges to do this rather than cell references. I'm not a fan of cell references. So what I'm going to do is just highlight column B, the whole column. And you can see I've called that Steve and highlight column C and I've called that Dave. The names you use should represent what you're actually looking at, but you can't use the word date or month because they're functions and it will pick it up as a function. So you've got to be a bit careful what you do. But if I go on this now, I should be able to just change these references to Steve. Just get rid of that. Type Steve. That's the cell references. That's the whole column, so it'll still pick it up. But I'll always show you the last 30 days based on today. Dave. And then just tick that and get the same answer. So it works just the same, but now you're using names ranges. So you could say period and amount for those two I could have called them that but that's a, a very useful little function the way to do that it's always giving you the run, uh, running totals based on whatever number you put in there so it could be 90 days or 365 days wherever you want to look back and then you can base a graph on that as well so it's quite a cool little function you can also use the average if function as well so that's the sum if function if I just do average if underneath so equals average if open the bracket so I'm looking at the range which I've now called Steve so I can just type Steve and then I do the same as I did before inside quotes and then the concatenate symbol today open and close bracket on that minus 30 comma and then add up use the name range Dave and then close the bracket click the tick so that's the average and then if you just do the normal average function to see what the average of the overall list is equals average and this this is a name range Dave close the bracket and it comes up with 143 so the average of Dave is 143 the average in the last 30 days is 197 so that's okay if it's in terms of money that you're earning not okay in terms of expense so that's all I want to talk about on this little video how you can use a summary function to create a, a rolling sum um, using the today function concatenated 
and also how you can use the average if function to get the average of a rolling um, set of figures 30 days in this example and the straightforward sum and average functions as well so hopefully this video has been of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one